What's going on guys, it's A-King's Creation again, bringing you guys back another video. Today we're going to go over the top 5 guns you should farm right now in the game and also into the upcoming update that's coming out. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the Thunder Cage first, okay? This is a lot of people's favorite weapon, especially because it's the easiest one to get. Also, I think you get it through the storyline, but I'm not too sure. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's an easy farm to get. All right. So here's the stats on the left side for you guys to read. If you guys are, are interested in that, I'm not going to break all this down until I make a build video for this. So I already have things in the works, but as you guys can see, it does have buffs and you can see what the debuffs do as well. Also what the electric shockwave does as well and what its trigger rate is. So et cetera, et cetera. Now there's history about each gun in the game. Personally, you can pause this if you want to. I'm not gonna break it down for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the next part of it, okay? So this is how to farm it, okay? This is pretty, e pretty easy. As you guys can see, there are four pieces to farm and there's different locations. And these locations are pretty simple. Um, that's why I said, uh, as you guys can see, you see like the little red X with the uh, arrow around it, that means it was a storyline. So that's why I said it will probably be a storyline weapon for you guys to have. So make sure you keep it when you get it. Now, the next one is the hand cannon uh, devotion. So this one also does pretty well. It's a really strong weapon. Uh, one of the best hand cannons in the game. What it does is also heals enemy when it, it heals your allies um, after you trigger its um, unique ability. I will break that down a little bit when we get to unique abilities uh tab but this is the stats for it and as you guys can see it has a critical hit rate of 36 percent which is pretty good so as its um unique ability devotion mark once you trigger that with a weak point hit you then can be able to hit an ally with your gun and then like actually shoot your ally with your gun and then it will increase their shield recovery by 10 percent so this is another strong weapon to farm i personally like this one so much that i'm can't wait to show the build first. I'm going to make a build on this one first um, because I really want to see if it will pack enough damage to um, one hit or maybe maybe within three hits kill like a hard devour or something in hard mode, right? So we're going to work on getting that done. As you guys can see, the farm for this is not too bad. Uh, we're just dealing with uh, common intercept battle so it's not too bad for anybody and like i said before in my previous videos i highly recommend getting to level 100 before you do all this right because then it makes the farm a lot easier as you guys can see the blueprint is also pretty easy to get just do the easiest bosses the easiest intercept battles i should say right all right so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part with is python right python is another uh gun on our list which is a submachine gun okay its unique ability is pretty good uh here's its stats as well and a lot of people use this because of its unique ability but not only that its fire rate is insane it's at 923 especially when you buff this up what you need to do in order to buff these weapons up also guys you gotta farm them four times okay so if you get the weapon uh for example the thunder cage and you got it through the story and you get one of them now you got to farm it three times to upgrade it all the way up to the max right so that's how you increase your unique ability level uh is by farming the same weapon four times to max it out right so this is um it's also showing the debuffs it does debuffs which is great for intercept battles it's called prey as you guys can see you pause it and then read that yourself now here's the farm right okay I'm going to break down like the hardest parts of it. That's why I haven't gone through all the resources is because I want to break down just the hard ones, right? So common devour and then you got common swamp walker. I highly recommend going with swamp walker because common devour or devour in general has a reheal. Like he has a heal, like he can heal back up. He has that phase. So just to make your farm a lot faster, I highly recommend just doing that. Now, grave walker is the first boss or the intercept battle everybody will face. So I highly recommend just doing that so you can knock it out. Now, Enzo is a huge factor. If you guys don't have Enzo, then it just kind of makes your farm a little bit slower because you have to be perfected to keep your uh, code breakers. So if you want to have perfection, Enzo is the way to do it because he slows down the time and also makes your uh, click rate or click area bigger, right? So as you guys can see, timing 
uh, Pyromaniac is a hard boss for a lot of people. And then you got Hard Executioner. I highly recommend at this point then to go to the fusion reactors. Yes, you need shards for them, but they made shards a lot easier to obtain now after hotfix 1.0.4. So I highly recommend just doing that and going for that. Now, another intercept bottle uh, for this part, the blueprint, which is pretty easy. Uh, Dead Bride is pretty easy to do. So you shouldn't worry about that too much. And highly, I recommend going public when you're doing all this. Um, Except for like in the beginning, like where you're doing like common uh, Grave Walker, then you could just sold that because it will just take like two seconds to do. The next one is Enduring Legacy. Now this is better than the Tamer. If you guys haven't heard about this on YouTube yet, this is better than the Tamer. So if you have been leveling up your Tamer, I'm sorry to say that you did waste some material. But hey, what can we do, right? When we're in the beginning of the game and we don't have weapons like this yet, especially because this one is hard to farm. Um, so that's why it is better than Tamer. But a lot of people don't have it yet because it is hard to farm. I will break down that part soon. But the Tamer is really easy to get. You can get it by just uh, farming missions in the open world on normal. Uh, so it's pretty easy to obtain. And then if you wanted to get all the way to 100, you can just go ahead and transmute it. Uh, but keep in mind, though, that you have to reroll the stats to make it level 100 stat. All right. So the unique ability is pretty cool. Um, it's quenching unique ability. Like it just basically on hitting an enemy afflicted with burn. This is very recommended for Blair. OK, I would run this with Blair because then you get that extra firearm ATK of 7%. So highly recommend doing that. Uh, I would definitely main this with uh, Blair 100%. And if they end up do coming out with a uh, ultimate Blair, which I'm pretty sure they will in the future, uh, that would be a perfect, perfect time to release that build video for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and break down the next resources that you need. Once again, Enzo is important, guys, with these farms. OK, Enzo is important because you just don't want to mess up so you can keep those code breakers and keep going and going. Now, here is why I said this is hard to farm. Look what you got. You got hard devour. That is going to be very tough to do. So I highly recommend this one as well to do void fusion. Now, you're going to need Enzo again. Enzo is the key. Can't say that enough, guys. Go ahead and farm that. If you want to know how to farm Enzo, just let me know in the comments below and I can put that build video out for you. I mean, not build video. I can put that video out for you guys, right? So once again, this is for now. This one is pretty easy. I highly recommend just doing the common one. Uh, this one is just a mission. Now, with these ones that require just missions, yes, it's really easy to get. But keep in mind that you have to keep rerunning those missions. And sometimes those missions can be 20 minutes or less. Depending on your group, you could probably get it done in five. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, hangman is not the way to go. So with this one, I highly recommend just doing the hard void fusion reactors now this will be a little bit slower this part right here will be slower because with hangman personally you can't do it so you need a team and you need a team that knows what they're doing if you don't have a team that knows what they're doing you're going to fail a lot and then you just keep that that farm slower right than just doing the hard fusion reactor now here again we got the situation with hard executioner for the blueprint then once again i highly recommend going for the void fusion reactors okay now the last one we have here is piercing light now this one works with that glade build now i have if you haven't seen the glade build online yet i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about it i don't know too much about it yet because i haven't built it myself and once again i do like to run only strong meta builds on my channel so eventually i will have that build video out for you guys unless in the future there are updates that makes it stronger uh, without using piercing light yeah, uh, piercing, uh, purification of light, uh, is the unique ability. And upon piercing two or more targets, you see where it said fire critical hit rate is a hundred and then fire critical hit damage is 6%. Now I'm going to go ahead and break down how to farm piercing light. Okay. So with this one, once again, we have that mission, that monster mission where, Hey, it just takes time to do it, but just, just farm it guys. It doesn't take that much. Okay. It doesn't take that much time. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about fusion reactors again. Just go ahead and knock those out. If that is the easiest choice, always choose the easiest choice when it comes to farming this stuff. 
do not choose hangman if you never ha played hangman i'm telling you right now don't choose hangman because then you have to deal with time uh failing a lot of missions because of teams right so who got the hard executioner or the void reactor what are you guys going to choose void fusion reactor exactly so let's go ahead and move on to the blueprint how do we go and get this blueprint common executioner common executioner this is not hard executioner it's common executioner which means it's easier and you can do it solo so let's go ahead and knock that out now i want to go ahead and give you a bonus because they are planning on nerfing that that switch build that i've been talking about with glay so we're gonna go ahead and talk about another weapon that will be strong in the update and i believe that fallen hope is getting a buff um so keep that in mind as well all right so we're gonna go ahead and break down its unique ability um so basically for this unique ability it runs well with freyna because freyna is a poison descendant so she uses poison abilities which means therefore the enemies that are hit by her will more likely be poison which will uh, activate the unique ability for this weapon so it works out well um again also it has a 600 fire rate so it's pretty fast and also has a good damage to it as well now its drop off isn't too bad you can be able to shoot at a good distance um no longer to 50 meters but 50 meters is good enough for an ar now for its unique ability it has an explosion trigger effect so keep that in mind it's almost like uh the thunder cage where if you shoot it comes it does like electric shock waves and then it like basically explodes um into a shock and then like kills other people into a group especially if you have a group of mobs and you use it they pretty much all die right so this also has something similar to it with an explosion effect and also like i said he has additional uh, dot damage of poison, so keep that in mind as well. I highly recommend running this with Reyna. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.